An increase in violent attacks has occurred in West London throughout the past week. The NHS has recently been put under strain with an influx of patients who appear to have some kind of infection. Victims have reportedly been bitten during the attacks. So, um, when the infection broke out, what did you do? Oh, the second I found out about it, um, we aimed to go straight down to Bournemouth to check on my parents. Obviously we didn't get there, we broke down on the M25, uh, we didn't have any food or any water and just a golf club protection. We didn't expect anyone to stop so there was no surprise. And uh, stupidly we decided to stay overnight and uh, make our way on foot in the morning. And it was that night that they came, um, it must, they must have been attracted by all the commotion of the motorway. But they broke into the car, uh, they pulled us away, and um, luckily I managed to fight some of them off with the golf club. Um, but by that time I'd realised Ben had already been bitten. So how did you get away and survive? Well luckily Ben had been knocked out, so I could just carry him on my back. Yeah. Well weren't you worried, he's going to wake up and bite you? Well it didn't really occur to me at the time, I was just concentrating on getting somewhere safe. And luckily I found uh, a house, uh, an abandoned house actually, which um, I could just put Ben in and uh, I kind of locked it up at this inside. So, um, after that, what happened to Ben? Well, do you want to meet him? What, he's alive? Yeah, he's alive and he's well, he's fine. I'll go and get him for you. Yeah, sure. Come on, Ben. Close the door. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Well, to answer your earlier question, he's, of course he's alive, here he is. So, um, how have you adapted to his personality change? Oh, well, I'm not going to lie, for the first year, or well, year or two, it was really hard, actually, but he's just like himself, really, just a bit more with it. Well, he seems pretty tame for an infected. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he used to try and bite me all the time, but it was just cute, really. So, um, have you heard about this scientist who says he's finally developed a cure for the infected? Yeah, I have heard about that, actually. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to get Ben in for some trials. I'm going to go down there soon, actually. Oi! And uh, yeah, feel free to come along with us actually. Yeah, sure. Just give us a ring when you're going. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it'll be pretty soon, so. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot. So, where were you when the outbreak started? Me and the guys from the lodge were down on a hunting trip at the New Forest, and we heard all about it on the radio. All those attacks, those dead people walking around with some viral infection. It was like one of those Romero films. Unlike most people, we weren't scared, running away from them. We figured, we got bullets, we got guns. They're like the animals we usually hunt, so why not just kill them? You've been hunting the infected ever since the outbreak? Yeah, but at first, we were grateful. Two years now, until the police weren't equipped for it, letting us get away with murder. Now the government put their plan of action in, getting with the proper authority. If it was up to me, those dead people would be exactly that dead. Do you hear that guy, Mr Kipling from Yorkshire? Yeah, the guy who had, who tried to have intercourse with his um, infected partner. Yeah, sick fuck. I'm all up for keeping that out of our society. But as for entertaining, it's fun. It's our sport. They shouldn't ban that. In regards to hunting, many people of the public, they say that the... Um, Shh! Get down. Sorry, you were saying?